Ready? Here we are at the Mainsail Art Festival 2013. This is an annual festival from artists around the area giving children outside art experiences. Wait a minute. Yeah. Go. Here's a young art show created by students. So this will give children an example of what they could do possibly in the future. Let's go through. Okay. Let's go around. <laughs> Here, brightly colored paintings that they can do. Colors that you are learning in class. Tigers. Tigers. We've got animals in here. Birds. Yeah, these are kindergarten. Flowers we could make. Oh, I love this one. Butterflies. This With is a first words. grader. Six and seven year olds in two more years, three more years. Well, with simple lines, too. It looks like almost with just a, even your finger that could be created. Yes. Got chalk art down here. We talked about chalk art and weaving. Paper weaving. Story quilt. A day in the life. Hooray! It's oh, my birthday breakfast. I wonder what will happen next. Shh! It'll be a surprise. They've taken little uh, fabric pieces of fabric to make a and kind of made pasted them on and made a quilt. Well, I actually can see that where it's in. Now we're, oh, here's like Starry Night. This is the second grade rendition of Starry Night. In crayon, it looks like. We talked about this in class during our movement exercises. We could make our own. Look at the turtles. Love the turtles. Florida Sea Life. Wow, this is a pretty talented second grader. Yeah. This looks computer generated. Oh, really? Yeah. I look at around here. I think that this could be made on a computer. Wow. Here's fingerprints. Oh, look at Painting. Seahorses. Paint. We do a lot of this on the easel. Everyone is an artist. Here we have some oh. more advanced drawings. Yeah, these are 11th graders. Me too. Yeah, this is photography. So this is a photograph. Ooh. This is like pen and paper here. Yeah. Just pencil? Yes. Yeah. Pencil. Go. We talk a lot about colors in our classroom, and here is a rainbow rendition of a city street with colorful trees. You see the purple and blue sky. And candy buildings. <laughs> candy buildings. <laughs> oh, Yum. look at this. Look at this bright and light moon. <gasps> a moon. This is another kind of like Starry Night, in Starry a way. Night kind of rendition. With we've like got, large colors. We've Sorry. got landscapes that we talked about in class. Oh, I like the fish. <laughs> There's some fish with a flag on it. We talked about flags as symbols of countries and the different colors that they have. Because we tear the paper and okay. make pictures all the I time. I am filming now. When we make pictures in class, we tear the paper. Here's a third grader's idea. Um, you guys usually fill in the cutouts, but you can eventually start to make your own pictures, just like this with the green squares for the grass. Oh, here's right above you is another. Right here's another one. Paper this is tissue paper. A tissue Terry. We do that in class all the time. Okay. Um, 
There's more kind of paper tearing as well, like an abstract. Abstract art. Um, when we talked about Jackson Pollock and his lines and some of its abstract, this is a little bit more realistic, but um, you can still get the picture with the different colors. Here's circles. We talk about shapes a lot in class and the different colors. If you look, there's patterns in here like stars, sunbeams possibly. And here, a wonderful example of painting that we've done in class. Colorful world, it's called. It is a colorful world. Oh, look at the giraffe, but done in rainbow colors. Rainbow colors. We talked about red, orange, yellow, green. That's purple. There's no indigo or violet. That's okay. Okay. I'm okay, go ahead. Um, I, we were doing a, um, flat, a fish project. Thank you, Riley. Thank you so much. Go. Here's some abstract art that we've talked about. Colors. You can wow. see the body lines. Some orange, some yellow circles of orange. We talked about all this kind of stuff in class that we could really create on our own, too. And you see famous artists, you guys, can be artists eventually <laughs> if you keep up at your craft. You see the colors in here? We talked about lines and swirls. Gives the impression of flowers in some ways, of water in other ways. Water, that's what I see. See, and I see flowers. See, so art can be interpreted. Everybody can see something different. <laughs> Go. Here we are in another tent with um, some tile and acrylic kind of work. Um, you can see the bright stripes of line, like a sunburst almost coming out. The yellows and the oranges and the reds are colors we can use in the classroom. Got like the, at the bottom, there's a round, there's, there's rounded part of a circle, shapes. and then you have the lines for the rays of the sun. We've got straight lines, long straight lines. We've got a circle, a curve line down here at the bottom. We've got lots of color. Beautiful. Go. Here's an example of art that doesn't have to be on a canvas. We could do sculptures too in class. You can see that there's lots of colors and lines in these as well. Um, the heart shapes. And you've got some brightly colored yellow and blues and a purple. Rectangles. There's rectangles. There's all sorts of shapes in here. You can see circles in this one piece. Um, sculpture is another medium for art. We talked about dance and movement and we talked about art on a piece of paper, but we've never talked about art as a sculpture. And these are perfect examples of something that you could look at. See, art can be huge, so much taller than you guys. If you look, and you see the lines that curve, you see some spheres, that's a three-dimensional circle. You can see some curvy lines in the art even. Lots of, lots of the things that we talked about in here in these arts. In this art.